One, tell the operator where you are and what you see. Then, start your video to provide evidence later. To learn more about how you can assist law enforcement, visit nationalpolice.org. That's nationalpolice.org. Right Let me get have it all. Hey, including heart attacks.
over and set up encampments for the sugar cane and the military presence and all that stuff. I learned so much. See, the difference between you and me right now, so you're going to weddings, and yeah. I'm going to a memorial service. <laughs> no, no. Unfortunately, uh, yeah, I have a friend of mine that passed, you know, one of those rare forms yeah. of cancer and everything else, but uh, a celebration of life yeah, and everything else. So, yeah, we got, we got a lot to cover today, no question about that. Um, by the way, I, I've got to mention that when John Palmarosi is going to be joining us as he normally does in our first hour, our MLB Insider at Fox Sports Radio, also NHL Insider. And uh, today, uh, Trace Thompson of the Dodgers. Yeah. Who, Reggie, as you know, we interviewed Trace when he was briefly with the Padres a year ago, uh, and I've known since he was just a young kid. Uh, he had been in an 0 for 39 slump. This is the longest slump for a non-pitcher in Dodgers uh, history in 114 years. Wow. 114 years. It goes back to Brooklyn. <laughs> it goes like when they were the trolley Dodgers. I mean, they weren't even the Dodgers. <laughs> yeah. you know, yeah. They were, the the right? they were wearing uh, sneaker boggers, and they were, uh, and they were, uh, <laughs> they were saying things like, hey, check out this fine name. She's a real beach. <laughs> so today... Dave Roberts continued to put him in the lineup, even though his batting average was at 108. Oh, hey, sometimes your best decision is a bad decision, but guess what? He got a base hit. Yeah! Come on, Trey! So he ended his 0 for 39 slump, and uh, unfortunately, the Dodgers. By the way, I, I, I get in the car, it's like, you know, 8 o'clock in the morning, and they're already playing. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is an early game on the uh, road against the Rays. Uh, by the way, that game's in the fourth inning, and it's 10 to 7, so barely a wake-up call in that game. So bad in practice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, well, Rich, you've got a lot of ground to cover, but we got to get to last night. So I don't know if you were watching the game live. I was watching the game live. I was sort of, I sort of had it in the background because the Celtics were leading this game throughout, and it really did appear that they were all on their way to Game 7. Jimmy Butler could not make any. I mean, he, you know, Jimmy does a lot of things for that uh, Heat team, obviously. You know, he had the assist, the rebound. But he, at what point he was 16 shooting. Yep. It got so bad that in the fourth quarter, you could see he just, he had no confidence. Like, he's not going to shoot. Fortunately for him, some of his teammates started making some shots down the stretch, and then Jimmy Butler stepped up, hit a three, and the next thing you know, he makes three free throws with three seconds left. 